Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. One more QSP knife uh, to check out for the time being. Anyway, we've had a few of them come through thanks to David uh, and the Apex Pass Around and of course QSP. So thank you so much for the opportunity, David. But this is the Kestrel. Now, a pretty cool little knife. Uh, you know, I have not had any issues with any of these QSP knives that have come in. And that has been a trend, you know, as far as QSP goes for as long as I've known. I've really, I had one issue one time. It was taken care of like that. David, you know, took care of it. So, but these are just really well-made, pretty darn budget-friendly knives. And that's pretty much what I'm loving about QSP. Now, don't get me wrong. QSP has definitely got some higher grade premium premium material knives premium steels so that's it's not just budget knives they have a little bit of everything for everybody but like i said this is the little kestrel we've got the brown micarta version now there's two versions of the kestrel out there you got the brown well actually four excuse me you've got the kestrel and the brown micarta you can either get a regular stone washed which we have here today today or a black stone washed blade and you also have a jade g10 version with a regular stone washed or black stone washed blades got some speed holes going there um you've got plenty of options for a lanyard some speed holes going on i would probably choose this one back here for my lanyard but hey um like i said options abound you can tell they do get a little smaller as you go forward pretty open construction Got some speed holes in the pocket clip as well. Um, not overly deep carry, but not bad. Not bad at all. Got a decent little ramp on it. And you do got some a pretty good amount of space in between this. Now, I know I've talked about this uh, very recently, you know, with the titanium clips. Uh, when they're low profile like that, that's really good. It helps with the grip absolutely 100%. Uh, the problem with a low profile clip like that is... Sometimes they can bunch up on the seams of your pockets and, and you're not always, well, okay, I'm not always able to use the full breadth of the pocket clip and get it as deep as I want it. That's why I really kind of honestly prefer a stainless deep carry clip that either is either mounted on the top here or dives down immediately like we've seen before. So just wanted to kind of throw that out there, but a nice little knife. We got some contouring going on. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of contouring going on. Uh, the micarta, very nice, very grippy. Liking that. You got a flipper, you got dual thumb, yeah, dual thumb studs. Very nice. Everything's chamfered off very well. No issues as far as that goes. Fit and finish, pretty darn well. Let's see. Centering. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see here. Get my finger out of the way. Now, is it? Yeah, it's pretty. That's pretty centered. It's pretty centered. Thought it was a little bit off to the uh, show side, but I don't think it is. Like I said, flipper tab. Nice. Jumps out there pretty well. Let's see. Yeah, not bad. Maybe a little on the light side. Not too bad. Now, it really jumps out there on the, on the thumb stud. I really like that dual thumb stud, as I said. Oh, if I don't hit the table, I can. I have reverse flicked it off the thumb stud, but I'm not doing it behind camera because it's just not going to work. Make a liar out of me, so that's okay. But definitely, definitely uh, a pretty solid little knife. Uh, nice in hand. Clip point blade. Choil is not quite out to the plunge. Got maybe just a tiny bit of a smile going on there and then your your thumb studs are interacting with the cutting path a little bit as you can see there right up against it you are kind of so you will have to watch that when you're trying to sharpen or uh remove the remove the thumb studs if you want to I always prefer to not remove them just be able to sharpen but hey uh, they are covering up the cutting path just a little bit I usually don't sweat that too much, to be perfectly honest with you. I really don't. So, I, I know it does bother some people, and I totally get it. Absolutely. 100%. But not a bad little knife overall. 
get some specs going on. So what do we have here? We have, here it is up against the PM2. Now, we'll have to zoom out just a little bit. Obviously, the PM2 is a uh, much, much larger knife. Much larger knife. Bug out is going to be a lot closer in size, but still just a little bit bigger. Make sure, yeah, we're lined up pretty good. So even the bug out's a little bit bigger. And, of course, probably the most famous QSP knife right now. I, I would have to, prolific for sure, is the penguins. So they're pretty close. Yeah, they're pretty darn close. Yeah, not bad. Right on there. Overall, what are we looking at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty much a seven inch knife. You're pretty much looking at a four and three. Absolutely, just a little bit more like two and three quarters on the cutting edge. And then your grip length is right about three inches. So as you can see, my pinky does ride outside that point to point, which it does put a little bit of awkward pressure on my pinky um, in this, in gripping it. Um, as you can see right there, let's see, see that? If I really bear down, you know, and get a good grip on it, it does kind of, it, it's a little odd on my pinky finger there. You guys know I'm, I'm more of a three and a half inch grip rather than a three inch grip. But just throwing that out there. Making sure I tell you what I sees and what I feels. All right. Overall weight. 3.3 ounces or 93 grams. Got to remember to show those grams for our friends across the pond. And then how does it sit in the pocket? Not bad, slides in pretty easily, and you can, like I said, uh, we've had some titanium clips recently where they really bunch up on the seam because they don't have quite enough clearance. Well, this one, we're pretty much at the top of that clip, which is nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Good, decent grip to it, and there again with that low profile clip, can I feel it in my hand? A little bit. I can actually feel the clip a little bit bearing down there again. Um, I can feel it a bit, but to be perfectly honest with you, when I do bear down, this is what's getting my attention for me. For me, the pocket clip, it's kind of detracted me away from the pocket clip just because of a little bit. If I want to try to get behind it, it's just, yeah, just the shape of the handle and how it protrudes there. If I Now, if I just get a regular light grip doing light cutting it's not a big deal it's really not it's definitely more prolific when i'm bearing down on it a little bit harder if i would need to should i ever need to do that i mean yeah when i'm cutting rope it does kind of you know you really do have to kind of bear down a little bit to get a good grip and i could definitely feel that when i'm you know loop the and pull through definitely can feel it that way so you know other than that other than that little hiccup for me, uh, it's a pretty solid little knife. You know, it is a little bit on the smaller side, like I said, the three inch grip vice to three and a half uh, that I really dig, but nothing, nothing wrong with it. Nothing. It's personal taste. This is going to be one that boils down to, is this something you think you'd like? Now they're selling, the Micarta one sells for like 69 something and the G10 one sells for like 68 something. So they're both in that 68 to 70 dollar range. Right there there's like a dollar difference, maybe a little more uh, between the Micarta and the G10. So um let me know what do you think guys? What do you think of the Kestrel? It, it's a fun little knife. It's solid. It'll do the trick. Nothing nothing too crazy about it. Nothing overly special about it. Just a good solid little knife, you know? So Really appreciate you guys checking it out. Definitely appreciate David uh, getting these QSPs in the pass around. Always, always a pleasure. Guys, thank you so much once again. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.